Welcome to another shave here in the Soap Thing Project. In today's video, I am going to do a sample from Talbot Shaving, who sadly has gone out of business. This one is Holland Glen. And we'll talk about the scent more during the shave. The price on this doesn't really matter because this artisan has went out of business. Uh, it is a tallow-based soap. That's about all I'm going to say about the ingredients. And it's quite an enjoyable scent. We'll talk about it during the shave, of course. It's a woody scent, so I think I'm going to go ahead and pair it with some Prorazzo Red after shave splash. I think that will go quite well with the Holland Glen. Now for the razor, I'm going to give a second use to the Razor Rock German 37 Slant. It seemed to do okay on two days of growth, so I'm going to try it again on 24 hours growth, which is a different situation. I tend to need to use a more mild razor and be more careful when I'm shaving off 24 hours growth. That's just how my skin is. Let's take the Maxpedition blade bag and shake it up and pick a random blade. Whenever we do a sample shave, we shake up the blade bag and pick a blade randomly. And this has all sorts of different things in it. Let's pick one. See what I come up with. Grab this one. And what do we have? It looks like we have a Rapira Swedish Super Steel. Kind of a mild blade that should do perfectly well for 24 hours growth. Thank you God for that one. <clears throat> and the brush is going to be my 22 millimeter Shave Mac uh, imitation pearl 22 millimeter uh, two band badger on this one. So let's take all this stuff and do a shave. Okay, here we go. 
Got the Talbot Shaving Holland Glen coming out of the Langley City Shave Bowl <clears throat> with a 4 out of 5 scent strength in the sniffle meter. This really went up in scent strength uh, off of the sample. You know something, I've had people ask me if I soak my badger brushes before I use them. And I've answered yes, I do that before. And I've even had people suggest that if I soak my brushes, then I, then I should mention that I do that. Well, <clears throat> here's the thing about that. If I don't happen to mention something, I've been shaving like this for, for a while. If I don't happen to mention that I do something, the good faith position that you should have should be that obviously I'm doing it. I'm not an idiot. All right, how many people do you see drive by on the road and you don't see them change their oil? Does that mean they're not doing it? Give me a break, people. Okay. We have the Razor Rock German 37 Slant with a Rapira Swedish Super Steel and 24 hours growth. Let's see how this goes. This is nice. It's still blade feely, but I think it's uh, a bit more forgiving than I originally gave it credit for, as long as you are careful how you use it. All right, let's talk about the scent of this soap. I don't have... Uh, my notes pulled up on my phone because they don't really give you scent notes for this. They never did. Uh, Talbot was always kind of one of those artisans that wanted to tell you a story. They wanted to sort of metaphorically paint a picture for you and like describe an environment that you're that you're supposed to be smelling. I always thought that was asinine and kind of uh, unproductive, and I still think that. Ooh. But nonetheless, the picture they kind of try to describe for you is, imagine that you're walking down a trail in the woods on a sunny day, and you stumble across a stream and a waterfall. That is basically what this is supposed to smell like. It's woody, it's earthy, it's slightly watery. I hesitate to use the word aquatic. Because to me, aquatic implies an oceanic scent, which I don't think would properly describe this. It's earthier once lathered than it was off the tub, which is interesting. It, it's very interesting how this evolves. A, <clears throat> off of the tub, at least off of the sample, it is a very woody and watery sort of scent. But once lathered, it gets less watery and more earthy. I don't get much earthiness from this off of the tub, but I get a lot of it once lathered. Once lathered, it almost becomes chiseled face-like. It's just a filthy, dirty, kind of soil sort of woody scent. And there's a variety of woody notes in here. I'm pretty sure there's oak and birch and a couple other ones. But yeah, it's definitely an earthy sort of affair, once lathered. It's really interesting. I like it. 
but it's definitely something I would have had to be in the mood for. I wouldn't call this a daily use scent. It's a little bit of a niche, if we're being honest, even amongst uh, the wet shaving hobby. This is an aggressive feeling razor that is less efficient than it feels like it would be. It's blade feely, but not particularly efficient. So as a result, I have to kind of be careful how much I blade buff, otherwise I think I would get razor burn pretty quickly and easily. But because it's kind of blade feely, it doesn't lull you into this like false sense of security where you feel like you can just swipe this thing all over willy nilly and you'll be fine. You're not going to be fine. You're going to tear yourself up with this if you're not being careful. You definitely shouldn't be doing what I'm doing, which is shaving in places where there's no shaving cream. Not with this razor. That's asking for trouble. Don't be like me. Oh, we. I think I better stop before I either draw blood or get razor burn. <clears throat> Let's have rinse. There we go. I think I think I can live with that. <clears throat> well, it looks like another Nick free shave. There might be a couple of breakout weepers here and there, but I'm not really seeing anything worth the uh, Worth mentioning. Well, there might be something right there. Yeah, this is definitely a slow down and pay attention kind of razor, without a doubt. Okay, let's do the ProRezzo Red aftershave splash. See how this feels on the face. I'm anticipating a little bit of a sting. Oh yeah. Definitely some stingage with that. So yeah, I think this uh, particular razor head is, is not for me. So I think this one isn't long for this world. It, it is going to, to meet its originally intended fate after all, as I think what's going to happen with this. Oh yeah, a little bit of irritation off of this one. Okay, well, my final thoughts on uh, Talbot Shaving Holland Glen. Would this have been good enough to buy a full-size tub? I don't know. Uh, it's a little too earthy for me. The, the, the place I'm in in this hobby right now is I gotta really, really like something in order to justify buying it. It's not enough to just like it. It's gotta resonate with me on some level or another, or it's gotta be just a whoa, amazing kind of scent. And this doesn't quite make that mark. And so I think uh, even if it were still in production, it would probably be a no thanks for me. Unfortunately, but 
that's just how it is. Uh, not everything that comes across uh, my shaved end is going to be an enjoyable scent. Sometimes, uh, sometimes things, while you may like them, you don't like them enough to justify a purchase for a, a full-size tub. That's all I'm going to say about that. Questions, comments, put them in the comment section of the video. Otherwise, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.